yeah hello all please give me the confirmation whether i am audible or not hello all very good evening to one and all welcome to the hack challenge so we'll start the session in couple of minutes yeah hello all very good evening to one and all yeah my voice is audible or not please give me the confirmation is my voice is okay could you able to hear please give me the confirmation whether my voice is okay or not yeah thank you for the confirmation so in today we are going to deal with uh, data analytics and working with ibm cognos so in today's session you people are going to learn about what is data analytics why we use data analytics in real life what are the implications of data analytics and uh, if you want to implement data analytics onto the data so what are the platforms we need uh, so we'll be working with one of the platform uh, which is provided by the ibm cognos by the ibm so we'll be dealing with ibm cognos tool in today's session we'll be creating an interactive dashboards using ibm cognos so shall we go into the session still my voice is low i kept in high volume is my is it is it fine is my voice is fine now everything is fine right yeah thank you so uh, before going to data analytics so in today's session i told you right we'll be dealing with uh, data analytics and uh, working with ibm cognos so before going into data analytics uh, and working with cognos i would like to put forward one question to everyone 
so what is the necessity of learning data analytics why we need to learn data analytics see if you are learning any new technology or something else first of all you need to understand why i have to learn this technology if i learn this technology where can i implement this technology into the real world i need to understand right so why you need to learn data analytics or some any business intelligence tool why you need to learn all those things what is the necessity what are the implications of learning this tool what what benefits you will get after learning so to visualize the data why you need to visualize the data to gain profits by learning tool you will gain profits how to gather insights from the data to gain knowledge huh. i am not asking about why, what is data analytics why, why we use data analytics why need why we need to learn any technology so instead of speaking general way like any technology i precisely go with specific tool specific uh, technology called data analytics why we need to learn data analytics so if you want to learn some new technology you might be knowing about this technology will be using in those organizations at particular position this is in demand so that is the reason why i need to learn you will get some idea right why by applying this techniques we can improve company profit so how can you improve the profits how can you improve the profits to understand the data how the data works yes okay to understand the data and how data works fine then more more answers so uh, okay leave about that so i will give some example i will give some example so just try to apply why you need to learn this technology can we apply this technology on to that example or else i will give some problem statement so i will take one domain and i will explain the problem statement in that domain how you are going to resolve the problem of that particular domain using this technology if you if you get to know those thing that thing you can easily understand okay why i need to learn this technology because there is some problem existing in the society if i want to resolve this problem or if i want to give the solution to that existing problem i am using this technology so i can use any of the technology but if i use any of the technology i may get a good solution or not but i am 100% sure that if i use this technology nothing but data analytics i might be resolving the issue i might be solving the problem or giving the solution to that problem in a better way when when i compare to the other technologies so this is what you need to understand like i'll give one example so for example you are owning a supermarket you are owning a supermarket Not, nothing but uh, not not only supermarket let's assume uh, in this way like okay you have taken some franchise of vijeta or some more supermarket or something else so in you, you kept that franchise in your area so in your area you kept that franchise so you are uh, uh, you are working like you as a owner of that supermarket what you will do will you go to the store and will you interact with the customer will you sell the products to the customer or directly you will sit in one cabin and you will uh, put a system in front of you and you will monitor everything from that system or you will directly go to the store interact with the customer or you will uh, sell products to the customer which one you will do as a owner of the supermarket yeah i'll tell what exactly data analyst will do i will tell first of all you need to understand the use case you need to understand the business use case where you can apply this data analytics then comes the data analyst so if a person who is solving the solution if a person who is giving the solution to that existing problem using data analytics we call him as a data analyst simple if a person who is giving solution to the existing problem with the help of data analytics or business intelligence we call him as a data analyst so that i will uh, deeply tell about that person in in like like in coming few couple of minutes so before that uh, understand this use case so i have given the example of use case like 
as a owner of a supermarket you will be sitting in a room and monitoring everything from the store uh, from the computer like uh, how many products has been sold how many products are in the shelf so which which customer is making more amount of sales which customer is making more or less amount of sales uh, sales and which products are in high demand in my store which products are less demand in my store and the uh, what is the customer behavior what is the pattern of uh, buying what is the pattern of buying of the people so all these things how you will monitor will you go into the store and interact with the customer or you will sit in a uh, room where in the system everything will be monitored which one you will do i am not showing any ppt i am just kept i just kept only the data in analytics slide i am just giving an use case example so please tell me what thing you will do as a owner of a supermarket so the owner of a supermarket data visualization will help understand whatever you just said yes perfect so whatever i just said so if i want to understand the behavior of a supermarket like how many customers are walking into the store and how many customers are making the sales and which products are getting sold from my store and which products are less likely to purchase by the customers all this information all this information i can monitor i can monitor just by sitting in a room through the visualization right whatever happen in the store that information will be stored in the form of data right in the form of excel sheet whatever the uh, now my voice is okay whatever the information whatever the information whatever the transaction whatever the product history whatever uh, everything all the information will be stored in the database of that particular store right it is it is stored in the form of excel sheet or csv file if i convert that excel sheet into a dashboard or a visualization where just by looking at the graphs i can understand okay this product is having high demand in this store this product is having low demand these set of customers are making more amount of transactions this set of customers are making less amount of transactions so based these conclusions can i make using data visualization or with the help of dashboard just by sitting in the room yes or no yes or no can i understand that so if i want to if i want to apply some analytics on to the data nothing but an excel sheet data which has to be converted into a graphics nothing but a visualization nothing but a dashboard a live dashboard whatever the changes that happens in the store that changes has to be reflected in the dashboard of my system so live data capturing of live data and changing of the graphs so if that happens i can easily understand about the behavior and i can understand i can take the decisions in a better way am i right or wrong yes data visualization is nothing but yeah that uh, i'll go i'll go when i go to the each and every slide i will explain don't worry just understand about the use case just understand about the use case so now if i want to create such visualizations if i want to analyze data in a better way if i want to create some dashboards or if i want to uh, create some reports if i want to monitor everything that is happening in the store in the dashboard of my system then what i need to do what i need to do what i need to do the data is already there on the data if i want to perform this data analysis or data visualization or if i want to create some dashboards or if i want to extract some insights which can be helpful for me to take the decisions what i need to do 
so on this i need to apply some technology on this i need to apply some technology tools i need to apply some technology or some tools so if you want yes tableau power bi such kind of tools you can you can apply you have the data you have power bi or tableau or ibm cognos and you need to know some statistical analysis right directly you have data you cannot create you, you cannot put all the graphs right you need to have some knowledge about visualization like which type of graph is uh, drawn for which type of data you need to have those visualize uh, information like those knowledge those knowledge if you want to analyze if you want to get the information or the knowledge related to data analysis or statistical analysis or data visualization or creating dashboards so then you need to learn the technology called data analytics data analytics so if you want to implement data analytics on to the on to the data we need some tool we need some tool so that tool we called it as a business intelligence tool bi tools so in market we have lot of bi tools such as tableau power bi clickview ibm cognos so we have lot of tools but in today's session we'll be working about power bi uh, we'll be working with cognos tool ibm cognos tool there will be taking one use case and will be applying all the data analytic techniques onto the data and will performing uh, or creating the dashboard using ibm cognos now am i clear so am i clear with the use case why we need to use data analytics why we need to use data analytics so after creating dashboard you can take the decision see Uh, if you look into the agenda of today's session one is understanding current business scenario i have already explained the business scenario right so if you want to take if you want to improve the business of your supermarket so based on the visualization you can draw some insights uh, based on that use insights you can take the decision right yes or no based on that uh, insights you can take the decision so you that is the business use case a glimpse of decision making how the decision making will happen through data analytics or business intelligence we'll see that and key industry challenges so key industry challenges means if you want to implement a data analytics on to your data what are the challenges you are facing what are the requirements you are lagging all those things will be understand what is the information gap you have the data and if you want to extract the insights from the data and you can take the decision making from the data what is the gap you are lagging will understand what is the information gap after that will go into the business intelligence and uh, overview of business intelligence and bi tools then we'll move into the data analytics and types of data analytics after that we'll working with data visualization and uh, we'll apply uh, we'll we'll create some dashboard using data uh, ibm cognos analytics so this is data explosion like uh, uh, if you look into the 1970s or 1980s so why there is more demand for data analytics or any to anything which is related to data any subject which is related to working with data why there is more demand in 2010s and 2020s uh, why not in 1980s and 1990s 2000s why not in 1990s or 2000s why why is there why there is more demand now when compared when compared to the late 1980s or 1970s or 19 what 2000s you may call why there is more demand i want quick answers i mean, i want quick answers in the chat less digitalization because of amount of data was less less yes all are right answers technology yes so during that in 1980s or 1970s we don't have technology and the usage of internet is also very less so uh, at the time like uh, hardly 10% of the people are using internet during 90s 80s or 2000s but if you look into the 2010s or 2020s we can see from 2010 to 2020 almost the growth was 50 times right almost the growth was 50 times why the growth because lot of people are using internet because of the advent of social media like facebook twitter whatsapp instagram wechat all those things uh, 
more more, more amount of people are using social media networking sites then lot of data is being generated and at the same time like a, a lot of corporates are coming into the market lot of competition is uh, making in the market like startups uh, in 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 2000s there are less amount of startups now you can see lot of startups in the market so because of that lots of amount of data is being generated and because of digitalization also lot of amount of data is being generated so what actually we want these companies want to utilize this data whatever the data that is being generated so we want to make use of that data and we want to gain the competitive advantage in the market it means that i want to grab the customers to my company i want to make revenues to my company i want to make profits to my company by with the help of this data i will draw some insights from this data whatever the data that is getting created in the market i will take that data and i will apply some analytics on to the data i will extract some business insights from the data with the help of that business insights i will take decisions which will improve the performance of my organization so this is what companies want to do this is what companies are seeking for they want to they continuously striving to improve their performance by using the analytics so this is the growth of data so this, uh, you can see here business need for support for decision making so why we need data analytics why we use data analytics for business intelligence so one is rapidly changing environments if you look into 1980s or 1970s and if you look into the present market the market is rapidly changing right because of internet because of internet because of competition because of more number of customers at the time we have less number of customers if you look into the present market so everyone is financially stable because of financial stability what is happening customer are customers uh, people are tending to buy the products right ultimately the competition is getting increased so people are trying to make more products trying to buy more products ultimately new companies are coming into the market so when the new companies comes into the market what happen ultimately competition arises in the market so there are there is lot of competition in the market if you want to if you want to overcome that competition and gain the competitive advantage you need to be more proactive you need to be more proactive and utilize the strategies in a best way to sustain in the market to overcome the market so that is rapidly changing the environment global competition just now i have told competition is arising in the market so not only the local competition global competition also we are facing like most of the companies from outside are coming into the india and getting invested in the in our country so because of that what is happening local companies or uh, nation companies are facing a uh, lot of competition from the global companies right so globalization is one of the best uh, thing we can say so all the companies like whatever the companies that are there in 2000s those are operating in india but if you look those companies in 2020s those companies are operating globally because it is trying to diversify it is trying to expand globally right because of that what is happening all the small companies they are trying to vanish from the market because of that global competition so demanding customer see customers are demanding as a customer for example if i tell you one example like you as a customer you are using some internet today you are using some internet today airtel or something else let's assume you are using airtel and you got 40 mbps of speed and you are paying 600 rupees per month so jio has came into the market jio has providing 100 mbps of internet with the same cost so as a customer as a customer will you try to change the internet or not will you try to move from airtel to jio will you will you try to move from uh, will you try to move from airtel to jio or not indeed you will move right yes why why you are moving because i don't like because with the same amount of price i am getting better option then i'll go for better option so because of that you are not getting into loss right so you are demanding see i get better offers i will go i go go with you if you give better offers to me i will go with you in that way you are in a demanding position as a customer you are in a demanding position so because of that what is happening companies may lose the customer when they don't provide better satisfaction to the customer they are trying to lose the customers right so this is one of the disadvantage 
so to to understand this we will be we will be using business analytics taking advantage of information acquired by companies is a critical success factor so whatever the data that has been generating like uh, even in, if you look into the amazon application so you are browsing something in the amazon application whatever you do that information will be stored with the amazon application so what amazon will do amazon will understand you with the help of your uh, search patterns after that what they will do they will try to analyze you and they will provide some offers to you right you don't have any intention of purchasing something from the amazon but you search for that particular product in the amazon so after searching after one or two days they will they will provide you some suggestions or some offers right based on that offers or based on the suggestions you may try to purchase the product from the amazon right could you could you identify that you may try to purchase some product from the amazon initially you don't have any intention but based on the offers based on the suggestions they provide your mind will change right yes or no your mind will change you try to purchase something from the amazon yes or no yes or no so like uh, if you, yeah that thing will happen right so how they are doing so they are trying to analyze you by the data whatever the data you are searching like everything was stored with amazon they try to analyze you and they are trying to convert a non customer into a customer non customer into a customer with the help of analytics so this is the success factor for companies just by taking the information of the customer and trying to analyze them and trying to convert the customer into a lead so this is what we do in business decision making so key industry challenges if you look into the key industry challenges if you want to uh, implement data analytics so, so first thing is you need to have right amount of data sources if you don't have any data sources you cannot implement data analytics or uh, you cannot uh, provide any you cannot get any information or insights from the data so one is data sources making data ready so even though you have the even though you have data but you don't have right resources to utilize the data if you want to utilize the data you need to have right tool you need to have right skill you need to have right employees who know the knowledge related to business analytics or data analytics if you have all those things then only you can utilize the data and that data can be used for taking business decisions then special hardware if you want you have skills and you have the employees everyone but you don't have right tool if you want to analyze the data either you need tableau software power bi or cognos whatever it may be if you don't have right hardware or the system configurations whichever uh, supported by that particular tool if you don't have those things then it is a waste of time right so if you want to implement all those things you need to have all those information all those things yeah now now the chat is disable uh, now the chat is uh, uh like activated you can put your answers in the chat so key industry challenges these are the challenges we are facing if you want to uh, implement the data analytics or business intelligence onto the data so information gap see information gap is nothing but the shortfall between gathering information and using it for decision making we have the data and we need to take the decisions from the data so whatever the whatever the things we required to convert that data into insights so we call that as an information gap so if you want to refill that information gap what actually we need we need there is no shortage of data sources so an organization or company need to have sufficient amount of data sources and they need to have sufficient storage for the data like they might be having databases they might be using uh, sql non sql databases or flat files whatever it may be they need to they need to have uh, right sources to store the data so even though uh, they have right sources for getting the data and they can able to store the data but if they want to utilize this data you, they cannot use this data right this is 100% of the data can we use this 100% of the data for taking business decisions whatever the data i am getting from different touch points in the organization can i use that 100% of the data for taking business decisions or out of 100% of the that data only like 
thirty percent or forty percent of the data is useful for decision making. Which one is right? Which one is right, guys? So, can I use hundred percent of the data for decision making, or out of hundred percent of the data, only thirty or forty percent of data is useful for decision making? Thirty percent, thirty or forty percent of uh, data is useful for information uh, decision making, right? So, if you want to convert this hundred percent of data into thirty or forty percent of useful information, so we need to perform some ETL operations, and that thirty percent or forty percent of data we need to store in a right data warehouses. So, here in databases we have hundred percent of data. What are the data we extract from that hundred percent of data, like thirty to forty percent of data? That data has to be stored in the right position. So, if I want to store that data, we need data warehouses. So in the data warehouses we will put only the information which is required for decision making on this information on this information which, which is kept under data warehouses we can apply uh, data analysis or data visualization to understand the business insights so this is the information gap these are the things we need to we need we require to fill the gap am i clear with this am i clear with this am i clear with this till here any doubts any doubts so now business intelligence so what what actually we do in business intelligence right so i already explained so first of all what we will do we will collect the data from different sources and we'll store into a database upon that we'll perform etl operations So, 100% of data will be converted into 30% of data or 40% of data, and we'll store that data into data warehouses. On the data warehouse, we'll perform data analytics. Like either we perform Tableau, uh, we'll we'll use Tableau or Power BI or Cognos to generate the insights. So, this is called business intelligence. Nothing but business intelligence is nothing but converting the raw data into useful insights. Nothing but which can be used for decision making. See, business intelligence is a science of collecting and processing the data. We will collect the data from different sources, and we will perform ETL operations, extract, transform, and load, and we will process the data. And collecting and refining information from many sources. So after that, what we will do? We will analyze the data and present the information in useful ways. Nothing but dashboards or visualizations, which can be useful for decision making so that we can take better decisions from this visualizations so this is called business intelligence simply we have data we will collect we will refine it we will do data pre processing then we will perform visualization then we will extract insights from the data so data to insights is nothing but business intelligence am i clear am i clear so we are not dealing with power bi in this session we will be dealing with ibm cognos will be dealing with ibm cognos so till here am i clear so this is what i told data to insights so we will capture the data the data might be in any form it might be in the unstructured form or semi structured or unstructured form so what we'll do we'll do pre processing in the pre processing i will extract the data transform the data and load the data and i'll refine the data once the data is refined i will perform visualizations on to the data to derive the insights so this is how i do in business intelligence so where can i see my badges and after completing the source <coughs> so please ask this question in the telegram they will be answering the queries so what is the difference between data analyst and a business analyst so what the data analyst whatever the things which i have discussed just now like he, whatever the data that comes from different sources that data is collected in the database so on the data we will perform etl operations on the data performed etl operations that data is stored in data warehouse so data analyst whatever the data that is stored in data warehouse on the data this data analyst will do data analysis and data visualization and extract the insights from the data by performing visualizations or dashboards 
that thing was done by data analyst so business analyst will do the same thing whatever the whatever the task done by the data analyst apart from that business analyst the name itself indicates business so he will be interacting with internal and external stakeholders he will be interacting with the clients he will be knowing about the requirements of the project so based on that requirements only he will communicate to the internal team all those things extra things can be done by business analyst so data analyst doesn't need any programming language as a data analyst you need to know about the uh business intelligence tool you need to know about the business intelligence tool so till here am i clear data to insights flow then the now we'll see have already explained the process of business intelligence if it is an organization let's take the supermarket so we'll get uh, information we'll get data from different sources customer data erp data operational data flat price data so uh, uh, don't uh, uh, don't try to analyze these things i will tell in i'll tell this in a simple way for example you have a supermarket in supermarket how many types of data you can see you can see the data info, information related to the products right you can see the information related to the customers you can see information related to your vendors or suppliers you can see information related to your employees all this information each information is stored in each database so like for example this is four informations of a supermarket we have four databases so on this each and every database i will perform etl operations nothing but data cleansing i will perform extract transform and load operations so if you look into the etl tools there are lot of tools we can use ibm cognos tool for for, for performing data preparation or else if you want to use tableau in tableau we have tableau prep builder so tableau prep builder for performing uh, etl operations so once we perform etl operations on to the data the data is in a structured way which can be used which is in the form of excel sheet that information is stored in data warehouse on this data i will apply power bi or ibm cognos or tableau to perform or to generate reports or to generate some analytics or to generate some data mining or to generate some insights on to this data so till here am i clear so if you look into the etl tools so search for etl tools in google you will find tableau prep builder ibm cognos and a lot of thing tools you will find business intelligence tools uh, if you look into the tools of business intelligence we have tableau we have power bi we have ibm cognos analytics we have clickview we have lot of tools we have lot of tools so in this session we will be dealing with ibm cognos analytics a, power, a business intelligence tool of, offered by ibm cognos till here am i clear so we'll share this ppt uh, don't worry so till here am i clear the process of business intelligence so why we use business intelligence i already explained right why we need, where we utilize this business intelligence so it is used to maintain optimize and streamline the current operations so whatever the operations you as a, i'll give an ex, I'll, i'll take the example of supermarket so what are the operations you do in supermarket you will stock the data you will interact with the clients you will take transactions you will uh, put understand about the like uh, products in the super store all this information like if you want to streamline in all the operations and see if you if you understand like which product is selling most mostly in the supermarket then you can take the decision right you can stock up those products in your inventory most of those products will be stock up in your inventory based on that whenever there is a empty in your supermarket shelf you can you can easily replace you can usually uh fill that or restock you can restock that particular product into your store right so whatever the operations you can do in supermarket or in any business that if you want to streamline those uh the current operations will be using the business intelligence why we used to increase the organizational productivity 
so if you have all the information all the insights related to the data or everything so you can directly take the decisions and you can improve the performance of your organization as well as your pro pro organization's productivity right so with the help of the data you can create some reportings and analysis based on that you can take the decisions that is why where we utilize the business intelligence so business intelligence is clear am i clear with the business intelligence please respond am i clear with the business intelligence am i clear i i enabled the chat you can put your you can put your answers in the chat i you can put your answers in the chat so last 15 minutes will be taking with q and o so please uh, try to listen the class as of now so now we'll look more into the data analytics see you can easily understand the data analytics split this word data plus analytics so analytics means in analytics what we are doing we are performing some statistical analysis or some visualization or something else if i want to perform all this analytics on to this data to generate some insights to generate some insights we call them as a data analytics data analytics is the interpretation of data to derive meaningful business insights that enables firm to make decisions i apply all the analytic techniques such as statistical analysis data visualization or data analysis on to the data on to the data to generate the business insights which are useful for taking decisions for the improvement of the organization so this is what we term it as data analytics am i clear with the definition of data analytics see data we have data on the data we will apply some analytical techniques such as statistical analysis or data analysis or data visualization these techniques we will apply on to this data to generate insights why we apply to get the business insights right so based on that business insights i can take the decision right so indirectly i am applying some analytical techniques on to the data to generate the business insights which are useful for decision making so we call them as a business data analytics i will term the i will term it as a data analytics <coughs> till here am i clear till here am i clear please respond <coughs> till here am i clear please respond so why we need data analytics so raw observation cell on the data you see you cannot why we need data analytics means first of all like whatever the data we get from different sources 100% of the data so we cannot take decisions can we take the decisions from that 100% of the data can we take the decisions from that 100% of the data yes or no can we take the info, can we take the decisions from that 100% of the data whatever which comes from different sources can we take or not can we take or not no right we cannot take decisions from 100% of the data so whatever the information that we extracted like useful data 30 40% of useful data with that data only we can take the business decisions so if you want to extract that 30% or 40% of the data from that 100% of the data then we will use analytics analytics will be used analytics methods are required to find answers to the questions so for example i have some business questions i have business questions i will tell why can't we use 100% of the data i will tell once i am done with uh, explaining these things i will tell <coughs> see uh, for example uh, as a supermarket Uh, owner i want to know i want to know in which a, which product is uh, selling mostly in my supermarket 
and which product is making less sales if i want to get answers to such kind of business questions what i need to do if i want to get the questions answers to the such kind of business questions what i need to do then i need to apply data visualization or create dashboards or do some data analysis right so that can be done using data analytics so again i need to use analytics to so, to give solutions to the business questions so <coughs> yes data analyst need to have see please first listen to the class uh whatever the questions you are asking that questions will be answered in the next few slides so first listen to this once my ppt is over if you get any doubts then ask me so this is what whatever the data we get will get will extract information from this and from that information will extract some knowledge by applying some data analytics techniques and that from that knowledge we will extract the insights with the help of insights we will be taking the decisions so how we can do with the help of data analytics so why we use data analytics am i clear so what we will do so this is my da raw data someone asked me can we use 100% of the data why can't we use 100% of the data <coughs> see this is my 100% of the data let's assume so here you can see lot of cards right but if you want to if you want to generate this kind of do you think all the cards that are present here are useful do you think all the cards there might be some see there might be some cards which is repeated multiple times there might be some unknown cards like unwanted cards here so do you think this all 100% of the data is required to generate an insight like this do you think do you think all this 100% of cards repeated cards duplicate cards unwanted cards everything is there here do you think all this 100% of information is required to generate insights from insights like this no right see whatever the raw data we are getting from different touch points that so whatever the raw data we are getting from different touch points we will have 100% of the data we will not use that 100% of the data we will do some data preparation out of that 100% of data we will be taking only the information which is required for my analysis once we done the data preparation we will put the data in the right format by analyzing or visualizing so once we get once we get this kind of data we can extract some insights from the data right can we ex can we can we extract some insights from this data can we extract extract some insights from this data can we or not so we'll be using business cognos analytics i told you in starting of the session i'll be using cognos analytics in this session yes we can extract some insights from the data this might be the insights so now could you tell that this is 100% of the data or somewhere around like 30% or 40% or somewhere less than 100% of the data do you think this is 100% of the data what we get from different sources and did i utilized all the 100% of the data do you think this is 100% of the data what i get from different sources here like the duplicate values whatever it may be did i utilized everything or i utilized only the required cards i utilized only the required cards right it is not 100% of the data i utilized only required cards which is less than 100% of the data so whatever the data which is not required i am eliminating that data i am using only the required data and i am trying to create an insights from the data so this is called data analytics so if you look into the life cycle of data analytics whatever the 100% of the data we get from different sources first of all we will understand that data what actually the data is telling 
after that we will prepare the data it means we will remove that unwanted data which is not required for doing analysis so in data preparation we will create only the data which is required for my analysis so after that what i will do on that uh, prepared data i will do some visualization or i will perform some statistical analysis or data analysis upon that i will after performing uh, those things i will get some business insights from the data based on that insights i can take the decisions from the data based on that i will be taking decisions which are required for company's improvement till here am i clear data analysis life cycle So till here, am I clear? So if you look into the business types of business analytics, what actually we do in business analytics, like or in data analytics, <laughs> when we have data, we need to perform some statistical analysis or some analysis onto the data. if you want to perform some statistical analysis basically data analytics for business analytics is divided into uh, descriptive analytics diagnostic analytics predictive and prescriptive so we have data in descriptive analytics what we will do is we will understand like uh, so i'll give an example i'll give an example uh, i'll give an example you got fever you got fever when you got a fever what you will do when you get a fever what you will do when you get a fever what you will do you will consult the doctor or not will do you consult the doctor or not when you get a fever could you consult the will you consult the doctor or not so after consulting the doctor so you went to the doctor so doctor in descriptive analytics what the doctor will do is he will ask questions what is ha what happened to you like is there fever or is there cold is there throat pain is there headache so he will try to understand what is happened with you so doctor will ask some questions and he will get answers from the questions like what happened to you he will understand what exactly happened to you like it, you got fee, you have fever you have a headache you are throat pain you have cold so these things will be understood by the doctor exactly so this is called descriptive analytics in descriptive analytics we will understand what happened so when we look at the data we will understand what happened with the data so in diagnostic what we will do so you tell you told to the doctor i got fever i got throat pain i got cold so doctor will analyze so why you got fever why you got cold what is the reasons for occurrence of fever so that examination will done in diagnostics if you look at the data if you look at the data if you look at the data if there is any problem with the data like uh, the sales is increasing or sales is decreasing in diagnostic analysis what we will do means so like why the sales are in, why the sales are increasing what is the reasons why the sales are getting decreased what could be the reasons of decrement of the sales in which areas the sales are decreasing so all those information will be understood in diagnostic analysis analytics it means that why you got fever what are the reasons for occurrence of fever all those information can be understood in diagnostic analytics so predictive analytics so what might happen what might happen for example so you told that <coughs> you have a fever you have a cold you have throat pain you have body pains so if these are the conditions let's assume these are the symptoms of what disease these are the symptoms of what disease <coughs> if you have cold if you have cough if you have uh, throat pain if you have headache if you have body pain so these are the symptoms of what basically in diagnostic we find the root cause behind the descriptive analytics yes in diagnostic we will understand what what happened where it was happened we will understand those things 
so after telling why it happened where it has happened everything analyzed so in predictive analytics what we will do is so we will predict the future so based on the symptoms the doctor might predict you may be chances of getting covid or not so it might happen so what might happen if these are the symptoms so what might happen does it a normal fever does it a viral fever or what does it a uh, covid so something will happen so that is called prediction so in prediction in predictive analytics we will be predicting about the future instances we will be predicting about the future instances so if you look at the data you need to understand like tomorrow whether my sales will increase or decrease tomorrow the stock price will increase or decrease in that way i to i try to analyze the data in predictive analytics so in prescriptive analytics for example if that is a covid if i predict it is a covid so what is the next thing i need to do i need to give necessary precautions necessary prescriptions to the cust to the client so for example if my stock price will fall tomorrow then what i need to prescribe i need to prescribe to the investors that there might be chances of your stock getting down so try to uh, take away all the money from your stock then you will be in the safe hands in that way i can prescribe or not so that can be done in prescriptive analytics am i clear with the descriptive diagnostic prescriptive and predictive am i clear am i clear with this thing please respond am i clear with this thing please respond yeah so see this is what uh, business intelligence and business analytics so basically business intelligence is a subset of business analytics so it means that in business uh, see here in business intelligence what we will do we will perform just a descriptive analytics and diagnostic analytics in business intelligence but in coming to business analytics we will perform all these things it means that uh, business intelligence is a subset of analytics so here uh, in business intelligence we will uh, focus only on present but in analytics we will be focusing on present and the future so this is the difference between business intelligence so descriptive analytics means whatever the data we get we'll put it in the right format like in either in the form of tables or in the form of graphs to analyze the data in a right way this is called a descriptive analytics we'll put the data in the form of reports dashboards or uh, management information systems etc so we'll put uh, the data in right format to understand that is called descriptive predictive means if you want to predict what will be uh, what what likely to happen in the future whether there will be a rain or not tomorrow based on the previous data whether my stock price will fall or my stock price will rise so these kind of uh, predictions will be done in predictive analytics basically in predictive analytics if you want to build such kind of predictive models will be using machine learning so we'll be using machine learning to uh, do some predictions or create uh, predictive models so in prescriptive models if this thing happen then what precautions i need to take so this is called prescriptive analytics so difference between bi and ba already cleared <coughs> till here am i clear till here am i clear please respond so predictive analytics is used to find out if it's going to yeah if you want if you try to predict the future instances then we'll be using predictive analytics so till here am i clear now we'll go into the visualization and we'll try to see what are the different types of graphs or charts we have so after that we'll move into the ibm cognos tool so till here am i clear so we'll understand visual analytics why visual analytics nothing but data visualization is more powerful when compared to other see yeah. so what is visual analytics uh, what, what is visual analytics means whatever the data we have if we try to put the data in the form of graphs or dashboards 
and we try to extract some insights from the graphs or dashboards we call it as a visual analytics see visual analytics is basically just a visualization of data so it involves data displayed in a visual chart or dashboard that makes it easier to understand then if we represent it in endless rows for example if i give you some data if i give you some data let's uh, just give me a minute so for example if i give you some data here so this data is in the form of table let's assume this data is in the form of table table excel sheet or something else and if i give you another data another data which is in the form of graphs or which is in the form of graphs pie chart or in this way so if i give you these two instances one the data with table or form and one the data with visualization so which data you will understand in a better way which type of data you will understand in a better way which type of data you will understand in a better way visual form why why you will understand in a better way why you will understand in a better way so basically whatever our human brain whatever our human brain is basically attracted to the colors or images whenever you try to see the data in the form of number it is difficult to remember for our human brain when you see that data in the form of pictures or images it is more powerful for example if someone come to you and narrate you the story so a uh, movie story or if i come to you and if i narrate you the movie story for 30 minutes do you remember that or if i give you a video of 30 minutes nothing but a 30 minutes movie so which one you will remember a story which i which i tell you which i tell you uh, in the form of movie or which i tell you in the form of uh, narration so obviously you will remember the movie right obviously you will remember the movie right so because that is that is played in the form of visual effect in front of you so that is the reason why you are trying to remember or understand in a better way when something is kept in the form of numbers or narration so that is the reason why we will do data visualization so here data visualization so we will be will be using different types of charts to understand more about the data and all those things so for example this is my data so if you try to understand the data could you able to understand this data no right so i i slightly changed whatever the negative values are there in this data i try to put them in with the red values so i can uh by seeing this picture i may or may not able to understand but by seeing this picture i can understand something right there are some negative values in the data yes or no like there are some losses in the data losses losses in the sales or profits yes or no can i able to understand so by seeing this i can easily understand this is put in the form of visualization so i can easily understand so there might be the red colors will be the losses or the black colors will be the profits or uh, revenues i can see that so when i put the data in the form of visual things so i can understand them in a easy way so this is the life cycle of visual analysis what we will do first of all we will understand the business questions based on the business questions we'll get the data once we'll get the data we'll find the structures and we will develop some insights from the data and we'll take some insights uh, take the actions based on these insights this is called uh, uh, visual analysis so see this is very important so when you are trying to plot data visualization when you are trying to plot data visualization so we have numerical columns as well as we have categorical columns so whenever we have when we whenever we try to plot a graph for a numeric column only single column 
we call it as an univariate analysis if it is a numeric column will be going with uh, column histogram or line histogram if it is a uh, numerical column so if it is a categorical column will be going with column histogram and if we if it is a numeric column will be going with line histogram so if we are trying to plot the graph for single column single column if it is a categorical column nothing but gender we have in gender we have male and female right in gender we have male and female if we trying to plot the graph for gender like categorical column will be going for column histogram for uh, numerical column like age of a person or a salary of a person then will be going for line histogram if we trying to plot between two variables when there is a two numeric variables like age of a person or a salary of a person then will be going for scatter plot if three variables like age of a person salary of a person experience of a person then we will be going for 3d area chart so if we try to plot two variables I have explained already scatter plot if you want to try if you want to plot for more than three variables like x axis y axis and this bubble chart like bubble size and bubble color like three or more variables then we will be going for bubble chart so in the same way like uh, if you want to represent the proportion proportion like male and female concentration then we'll be going for uh, pie chart if we trying to uh, plot the patterns according to the year or according to the timeline we'll be going for waterfall chart so in that way based on the requirement based on the data type of the column we will we'll be choosing the right right chart we'll be choosing the right chart so this this knowledge need to have for data analyst so uh, try to remember this concept univariate analysis bivariate analysis and multivariate analysis so if you type uh, univariate analysis in google you will find a lot of techniques so try to uh, understand that thing so in the same way try to analyze bivariate analysis try to get the information related to multivariate analysis so try searching for these things because in data analytics will be plotting mostly the dashboards and visualizations if you want to create a better visualization on dashboard you need to have information related to uh, types of graphs and types of graphs you need to plot for each kind of variable so that can be achieved through understanding univariate bivariate and multivariate analysis so please learn these concepts so till here am i clear so till here am i clear so applications if you look if you can you applications you can see like we will use data analytics in fmcg nothing but uh, uh, F fmcg company or in a risk management company everywhere we can use everywhere we can use so we can use data analytics in each and every uh, specific area if you look into the marketing and customer intelligence i want to know like uh, who are my potential customers who are non my po not potential customers which product is selling which product is not selling in a better way those things can be done understood by here like applications of data analytics in marketing and customer if you look into the risk management so banks will give what banks will give they will give loan to the people or loan to the companies so after giving loan who are in risk banks are in ultimate risk right so to analyze which is in risk whether the customer is in risk or whether the bank is in risk or like what type of assets they have all those things can be analyzed uh using data analytics supply chain so how much amount of stock i need to keep in the inventory so which uh, which product i need to focus more like what is the optimization channel for transporting the goods to the stores all those information all those analysis can be done using data analytics in supply chain management fraud detection if you look into the fraud detection credit card frauds like you will get a 
fraud calls right from we are calling from the bank and you need to uh, your your mobile number has won this much amount so if you want to know if you want to reclaim those amount so you will get an otp such kind of uh, fraud calls or fraud detections like you will get email fraud emails right so those analyses can be done using data analytics revenue management nothing but financial industry so if you want to understand like uh, uh, what is the investment i need to make on ma marketing how much amount of investment i need to put on advertisement how much amount of investment i need to put on uh, skill development so how can i uh, come to a conclusion by analyzing the data right so that analysis can be done using uh, data analytics so other point of sales contact like reputation lot of things can be done like you can apply data analytics not only specific industry it is used for each and every industry it is used for each and every industry so this is how we will use data analytics uh, in each and every industry so am i clear with the business intelligence and data analytics if am i clear with the business intelligence and data analytics will be moving to the ibm cognos please give me the confirmation am i clear with the business intelligence and data analytics am i clear with the business intelligence and data analytics where we use data analytics why we use business intelligence like what are the different types of charts we will be using in data analytics to understand more about the data am i clear yeah so now we'll be moving with ibm cognos just give me a minute please give me the confirmation whether my screen is visible ibm cognos analytics yes sir it is visible yeah thank you for the confirmation so we have seen business intelligence right so we'll understand what is ibm cognos basically ibm cognos is an business intelligence tool which is offered by ibm which is offered by ibm see uh, if you look into the sales salesforce salesforce we have tableau tableau is the business intelligence tool provided by the salesforce in the same way power bi microsoft will providing is providing the power bi tool in the same way like uh, amazon web services is providing some of the tool in the same way uh, google is providing one of the uh, business intelligence tool in the same way ibm is also providing one business intelligence tool we call that business intelligence tool as ibm cognos so if you want to if you want to perform data analytics for business intelligence you need some bi tool so we will be focusing on ibm cognos which is provided by ibm so why i need to learn what are the features of ibm why why i need to learn when compared to see if you look into the market you have lot of tools tableau power bi click you then why i need to learn ibm cognos because ibm cognos is a web based tool ibm cognos is a web based tool it is also available in desktop version also but when compared to other business intelligence tool ibm cognos is providing lot of features we can create better visualizations we can create better insights when compared to the other business intelligence tool and the data is secure because it is a cloud cloud platform right so whatever the two whatever the things you do you no need to store in your local system so everything will get stored in ibm cloud so whatever you store in ibm cloud that is in the safe hands right if you store something in your system suddenly your system got crashed at that time you are not able to recover the data you you will be losing your information right so that thing will be uh, uh, that thing will be resolved using ibm cognos so ibm cognos uh, in ibm cognos if you look into the components we have lot of components and type of cognos we have got different type of cognos and uh, what we can done in ibm cognos 
we can create dashboards we can create reports and we can do some analysis so so business intelligence am i clear with this thing so i have already explained about the business intelligence right i need i no need to go this once again right so basically ibm cognos is a web based tool web based tool the only thing you need to has a browser if you have internet and you have a browser then it is fine so business intelligence is already covered and this is already explained why we use business intelligence already explained to increase the revenue of an organization to improve the performance so ibm cognos is a business intelligence tool for web based reporting and analytics it support web based reporting and analytics you can create dashboards or reports on the web it is a online based bi tool so uh, irrespective uh, uh, you no need to worry about the operating system either your operating system is windows or mac or linux or ubuntu whatever it may be you no need to worry about those things because it is a online tool the only thing you need to have an internet and a browser and internet and a browser is enough so ibm cognos is uh, you will get a 30 days free trial uh, if you use academic uh, in academic id you will get one year free no no bi tool is free no bi tool is free even uh, even tableau or power bi whatever it may be they will not provide you for free as a stu for student for student they will provide one year even ibm also provide for student if you are a student it will provide you one year for practicing and learning so you can use like 30 days free trial but uh, uh, ibm is providing must every student any student can get a one year free trial so ibm cognos this thing is right so features offers in memory streamline analytics so uh, compute uh, in memory like whatever you do that is stored in uh, cloud so you don't need to worry about the local system uh, information loss of information or something else so already explained it is a web based tool everything will be get stored in the web provide real time events alert and notifications so basically when you are trying to create dashboard we can connect with the different uh, uh, what we call databases sql or ibm db2 whatever it may be so you can create interactive real time dashboards so user can edit the data so whatever the data you put in ibm cognos you can edit the data whatever the data you put in you can edit the data drill through capabilities it means that for example drill through is nothing but for example uh, i know the sales of entire country if i want to know the sales of each region east west north south i can go into the data if i want to know the sales of each state i can go deeper into the data if i want to know sales of particular state i want to go into the data if i want to know the sales of each and every city of that particular state what i will do i will dig more into the data so here what i am doing i am drilling through the data right so this option is available in ibm cognos potential image documentation and integration so whatever the things reporting you do you can do like uh, you can import the images so uh, whenever you trying to do some reporting or dashboards if you are trying to import some image onto the dashboard that can be done in ibm cognos that is a special feature so it is a platform independent scalable and reliable so it is not like it, uh, platform independent means so irrespective of uh, operating system irrespective of operating system or basically it is a web based not only it will it will work in like google chrome so it can be work uh, it will be work in safari or uh, whatever the browser it may be it is independent of the platform so it is independent of the platform you uh, uh, try to launch on that so it will work in every platform so these are the features of ibm cognos am i clear with the features of ibm cognos
will be creating dashboards in today's session will be creating so components of ibm like each cognos connection is used to create connection with the databases like you can if you want to create connection with the databases and retrieve the information from the database then we'll be using uh, cognos connection cognos business insight is used to extract the business insights from the data so in in 2020 like whatever the cognos we are using we don't have this many number of uh, different things basically we will have analysis report studio uh, that uh, i will show you like uh, when i open the tool so these are uh, not these are the old features that uh, cognos having so basically we'll be having report studio then we'll be having uh, uh, story and we'll be having uh, dashboard thing so type of cognos this is not important so this is basically this thing you need to we will be creating dashboard in today's session what is a dashboard it is an end to end data visualization capabilities so we will try to put all the information in the form of different dash different images different visualizations so that can be understood and we can take some decisions from the data dashboard is nothing but we will put the data whatever the tabular data it is there we will transform the tabular data in the form of visualizations where the user can understand the information or the insights from the data so dashboard what is the difference between dashboard and report dashboard will tell you about the visualization like what is each graph in each graph what we like uh, i have plotted some histogram or some uh, what we call pie chart so the pie chart will tell you this is an uh, information related to like uh, uh, gender so dashboard will give you just a basic information about the chart but when coming to the reporting reporting and end to end visualization but in a detailed way each graph will be explained with a story some sentence here you can see uh, here i have written something like here you can see right this is a report this is a dashboard so in the report you will find lot of information like you will find lot of information about this particular graph but in com when coming to the dashboard just you will understand what actually that graph is telling but in report you will understand more about the dashboard the drill through capabilities is nothing but if i want i know the sales of entire country if i want to know the sales of each and every region i can drill drill in right i can uh, get the data right if i want to know the sales of each and every state nothing but from re from country to region region to state state to city so from country sales to city sales you are coming right so this is nothing but you are drilling drilling the information right so that that is called drill through capability so now we'll move into the analysis oh, so in analysis what data analysis what we will do we will clean the data will analyze the data and will interpret the data and visualize the data so i request all the participants to open the ibm cognos please give me the confirmation whether my screen is visible or not so if you are having ibm cloud account if you are having ibm uh, like uh, cognos account please open the cognos account if you are if you having ibm cognos account if you are having ibm cognos account please open ibm cognos account so please go to the google and type ibm cognos analytics so please go to the google and type ibm cognos analytics
hope everyone is having smart intense credentials right yes or no i hope everyone is having smart intense credentials right so for example if you don't have a uh, smart intense credentials with the help of your gmail account you can create this 30 days free with the help of your gmail account you can create 30 days free trial uh, version so or else uh, like if you have smart intense credentials uh, if you have smart intense credentials you can directly go to ibm cloud uh, where ibm academic initiative and on the topics you will find data science so go to ibm academic initiative ibm academic initiative so nothing but skills build so here in the topics on the topics you will find data science so in the topics you will find data science please click on data science so when you click on data science you need to login you need to login with your smart intense mail id and password after that click on to the softwares after that click on to the softwares when you click on to the softwares when you scroll down you will find cognos analytics on cloud cognos analytics on cloud when you click on cognos analytics on cloud so it will like for me i haven't used to i smart intense credentials so for me it is not displaying for you you need to log in into smart intense credentials uh, with the help of smart uh, like uh, you created ibm cloud account right so before creating ibm cloud account you you need to create ibm academic initiative account right yes or no it is asking for verification code please enter your mail id like normal gmail id so for that email id you will get verification code so try to enter that verification code so login here then go to softwares then go to cognos analytics and cloud so once you log in and go to here so it will tell it will ask you to access now so when you click on access now button so it will able to it will enable you to uh, create ibm cognos analytics you will get on to this page you will get on to this page when you are on to this page please click on launch button please click on launch button when you click on launch button ibm cognos account will get activated guys first of all please uh, like we have only 30 minutes first of all i will uh, any how recorded session will be provided to you so as of now whoever uh, see go to ibm academic initiative ibm academic initiative login into ibm academic initiative on the topics on the topics you will find data science on the topics you will find data science click on data science then if it is if you are login uh, you it will display you are successfully login if you don't login try to login with the mail id and password like smart intense mail id and password so after that scroll down when you scroll down you will find softwares when you scroll down you will find softwares you will find softwares after going to the softwares you will find here cognos analytics on cloud cognos analytics on cloud yeah it it will show activation in progress it will take two or three minutes so when you click on to this uh, uh, here you will find access now button click on that so it will ask you to, for verification enter your mail id and uh, click on proceed button you will get a otp once the otp is uh, once otp is you get so you will find like uh, this thing uh, instead of active you will find in progress after two or three minutes uh, in progress will get turned into active active button so once it is got active please click on launch button when you click on launch button so it will redirect you to this page nothing but ibm cognos with watson so i hope everyone is on this page right i hope everyone is on this page please respond anyone is on this page please respond 
how many of you are on this page please respond ibm cognos and analytics yeah so i will quickly go and explain the elements of the ibm cognos uh, just give me a minute see this is ibm cognos tool where uh, on the see this is a dashboard like where you can find watch video when you click on watch video it will tell you about like what are the each element present in ibm cognos it will display all those things then here you will find the elements of ibm cognos so with the help of upload data you need to you will upload the data into ibm tool and you can work on the data then we have a prepare data with the help of prepare data you will able to do some data preparation uh, you can clean the data here you have exploration so for example i will take when you click on upload button so i request uh, the mentors to share the data set in the chat i request the mentors to share the data set in uh, data set in the chat so that uh, they can use this data set for doing some analysis so i am using this superstore data i am uploading so when i click on upload button <coughs> and select the data my data set will get uploaded into the ibm cognos so the data set link has been shared in the chat the data set link has been shared in the chat please find it and download the data set so with the help of upload option once i upload the data the data set will get successfully uploaded in this tool so then we have an option called prepare data when i click on prepare data so this page will get opened so here you have a search button you can find uh, you can search about the data like uh, us super source just now uploaded right so you can find the data uh, using search button and it will display the list of data available here so you have an op other option called my content so whatever the data just now whatever the data uh like uh, uh, available in this store that will be uh, uh, that that will be displayed here so under my content under my content when you upload the data into this tool that will be displayed under my content so this is team content so under team content like uh, whatever the like team members you have uh, like uh, uh, you can share that information or you can share the data set you can share the dashboard with your team members so using uh, share option whatever we, share option we have in ibm cognos account so that information will be displayed under share content so this is time based on the uh, action based on the uh, based on the uh, like whatever the action we do based on the time that will be displayed here so this is the data sources like databases so we can uh, we can connect to the data servers using this option and we have this upload option so upload option is used to upload the data into this tool we have shared the data we have shared the data set link so i will share the data set just give me a minute copy i shared the data set to everyone in the chat so try to find the data set please give me the confirmation whether the data set is uh, the link of the data set is available or not cognos on cloud cognos on cloud ibm cognos on cloud you need to pick yeah please download the data set and <coughs> so this is the <coughs> options we have under prepare data option under prepare data option so once i select the data set this is you uh, once i select the data set so when i select the data set it will navigate me to this page so where i can see all the information related to the data set so when i click on the data set that data set will be displayed here you can see when i click on to the us superstores all the information all the data set will be displayed here 
So under grid, you can display the entire data. <coughs> under grid, you can display the entire data. So under relationships, you can find the relationships. So here I cannot find any relationship because I uploaded only the one data. I uploaded only one data set. So if I try to upload uh, two or uh, one or two, two or three data sets, we try to plot the relationship between that two data sets. So in relationship, it will display those things. Then custom tables. If you want to create your own custom table, you can click on create button. And uh, so for example, we have two tables. If I want to create a custom table using those two tables, that can be done in using custom table option. So then we have exploration. When you go to exploration, you need to select the data set. So when I select the data set, what exploration you can do here? So when I click on to the exploration, so here you can see like uh, this exploration, this, this will automatically uh, like uh, create a visualization here. So for example, if I click on data, so it is automatically creating, right? Right, uh, the total amount of discounts it has been created. So it is kept in the form of visualization. So if I click one more time, like uh, mm, some plus button, so it is trying to create uh, visualizations here. So when I click a plus button here, you can see on the left side, you will find the graphs, right? So automatically it is suggesting. So when I click, uh, add button here see here automatically it is suggesting like uh, the graph is automatically suggesting so this tool has a technology has a intelligence to suggest the graphs see discount for a region according to the profits so automatically it is suggesting the graphs and when i click on that particular graph it is also giving some insights right on the right side you will find some insights right in data exploration, the things are done automatically. The things are done automatically. So this is the main advantage of IBM Cognos. When we use this data exploration option, quickly it will create visualization without much stress, without much stress. Sir, it's asking for data center when I click. Before. Yeah, you can select any data center. You can select Washington DC or whatever it may be. So this is how we create uh, exploration. So in present data, we have dashboard report as well as story. So dashboard is used to create visualizations. Report is also used to create visualization, but with more information. Story is used to create, uh, it is nothing but a movie. It is like nothing but a uh, reel by reel. It's like a slideshow by slideshow. In that way, it will display in the story. So we are concerned about creating dashboard in a today's session. So I request all the participants to click on the dashboard. I request all the participants to click on the dashboard. Please give me the confirmation whether everyone is in the same screen or not. Please click on the dashboard. Once you click on to the dashboard, everyone will be directed to this screen. Please, please give me the confirmation. Where is the dashboard? So here, go to the IBM Cognos. Go to the IBM Cognos in the present data. Please click on the present data. Please click on the present data. Then click on dashboard. Then click on dashboard. So it will open this page. It will open this page. Everyone is on this page. Please give me the confirmation. Go to the present data. Go to the present data. When you click on present data, it will uh, click on, yeah, successfully. Uh, go to the present data, then click on to the dashboard, then click on create. It will re redirect you to this page. Once you are on to this page, you need to select the template. You can uh, select any template. I'm selecting the blank template and click on create button so when i click on create button so this page will get opened so here in this user interface in this user interface i will create some visualizations so before creating visualization i will explain the 
elements in here so here assistant basically this is an assistant when you click on this assistant and uh, tell the assistant to create dashboard so it will automatically create dashboard without you don't need to create anything assistant will automatically create a, a dashboard but we are not using this option we need to know how to create so this is sources data sources so here if you want to pin any graph you can do that so visualization when you click on visualization you will find lot of graphs here right so system graphs and custom graphs so here you can see lot of visualization you find here so you need to understand each visualization is used for what for example box plot is there so how can i plot box plot column chart is there bubble chart is there in that way i need to understand for which visualization which graph is used so next you have uh, custom widgets so custom widgets or widgets so if i want to insert any image so ibm cognos is providing if you go to google and uh, uh, for example here i will type uh, sales sales images if i want to type sales images and i want to uh, put something else here like uh, can i get on see if i want to copy this image and put on to the dashboard i can directly copy image address of this particular uh, image then i can go to the image here in the widget i have standard image i can copy and paste the url i can copy and paste the url so that image will get copied here that image will get copied here in this way i can put some beautiful visualizations using ibm cognos so once it is done once it is done so you need to select the data source so here please everyone click on select the data source so under my content under my content i already uploaded the data set here right so you can use my content data set or under the team content you have sample under the team content you have sample in the sample you will find some uh, data you will find data you will find data or you can use any of this sample data set so i am using my content data so superstore data so when i click on to this my content data that data will get displayed here that data will get displayed here so once the data is getting displayed here there is two ways to plot the visualization one is you can directly drag and drop the columns here for example so i am using this country i am dragging and dropping this country column onto the graph after that uh, i want to know the sales according to the country i will drag and drop this sales into this country so it will display see sales for country regions so this graph is it is automatically creating the graph right did i did i done anything did i done anything no right so it is automatically creating when i drag and drop the columns when i drag and drop the columns it is automatically creating the visualization you can create the visualization just by dragging or dropping or else you can go to the visualization here or you can select the required graph so i will select this column graph i'll put it here so after that what i need to do i need to select the columns so bars bars is nothing but i want some numeric value so nothing but quantity so length 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 what i want i want a segment or something else so here instead of that if you for example if you don't know under which column you have to like under bars which one you have to select or under length which one you have to select you don't know let's assume at that time what you can do you can directly see you can directly uh, select the column from here you can directly select the column from here so sales i am selecting and putting here 
so it will automatically process the data and one more column category i am dragging and dropping here it will automatically process the data so see did i done anything else or did i done anything just by dragging and dropping i can able to select the data automatically am i or not am i able to select the data automatically so this is how uh, we create visualizations this is how we create visualizations in the ibm cognos so dashboard is nothing but a combination of multiple graphs right so i will create another 3 or 4 graphs here so what i will do i'll go to the data sources once again uh, now i want to plot some like i want to plot some bubble chart here so i'll drag and drop the bubble chart here so after that what i will do i want some two numeric columns so what i can do so i will drag and drop sales i will drag and drop quantity i will drag and drop uh, discount i will drag and drop category i will drag and drop the things so from this when i click on uh, extend button see i am able to get right on the x axis i have sales on the y axis i have quantity and i have three category so this is office supplies this is uh, uh, what we called furniture and this is technology so uh, the color will indicate the smaller size will indicate the discount less discount and the bigger size will indicates the big discount and the color will indicates the category and uh, on x axis i have sum of sales on y axis i have sum of quantity am i able to get such kind of insights from this graph yes or no yes or no am i able to get such kind of insights from the graph so could you please tell show how to upload the data see when you go to ibm cognos ibm cognos see go to ibm cognos you will find and upload the data or else you can directly click on present the data select the dashboard present the data select the dashboard so when you click on to the dashboard here you will find data sources could you able to see the data sources here when you click on data sources here it will ask you to select the source please click on select the source it will ask you to upload the data so in the same way i can create multiple so in this page i created a dashboard right so in this page i created a dashboard so if i want to save this thing if i want to save this thing i have a save button here when i click on save button i can save this dashboard or else i want to create one more dashboard i want to create one more dashboard so for this dashboard i will give some title like uh, sales if i want to create one more dashboard here i have a plus button here i have a plus button when i click on plus button it will ask me to select the template and click on create so again new user interface will get created where i can put all the uh, elements here so that it will get created a new dashboard so according to the category i want to display the elements so it will display all the elements in this way here in this way i can create multiple dashboards in this way i can create multiple dashboards so here i can rename it category so this is how we create a dashboard so 
uh, like in this way you need to create like you need to create four to five chats so this way you need to create so uh, here you will have some options so fields if you go to the fields when you click on any graph when you click on any graph if you go to the fields if you go to the fields it will display all the what is the there on x axis what is there on y axis all this information will be there if you go to the properties if you go to the properties so of this particular graph uh, just give me a minute so if you go to the properties so it will display like if i want to change the color of this particular pattern or if i want to go with some uh, settings everything everything will be there so those things will be done using the properties and using the fields so this is how we create a dashboard once the dashboard is created sir add increasing graph if you want to add graphs you can directly drag and drop so like in this user interface this is how much screen is there that much screen only you can visible but you can change the length of the screen size so put the cursor on this then click on properties then uh, under the properties you will have some general properties so go to the properties just to put the cursor on there and go to the properties so in the properties you will have this thing so width and height so try to increase the value of width and try to increase the value of uh, height when you try to increase the uh, value of width and height what happens is see this area whatever the area that is there for creating the graphs that area will get increased it means instead of six graphs you can insert eight graphs in that way you can insert once you are done with the, this thing you can if you want to save this uh, visualization so please click on save button when you click on save button it will ask you to give the name sales dashboard so when you click on sales dashboard and click on my content it will enable you to create a dashboard so here you can see sales dashboard was created so if you want to color the map please click on to the map go to the properties go to the properties please click on to the map go to the properties just give me a moment see go to the properties here you can find lot of elements like visualization so maximize axis scale so if you want to change the legend if you want to change the type if you want to change the layers here you can see color color heat map palette you can change the colors from here so everything will be displayed in properties please click on to the graph go to the properties if you want to change anything in the graph you can do that way if you want to change the values then please click on to the field so after saving the graph if you want to share this graph with someone like you have an option called share when you click on share button when you click on share button so when you click on share button so this thing will get enabled so you can download this uh, dashboard in your local system so you can share this dashboard through email when you click on email and click on next it will ask you to uh, enter the email id whatever the email id you give to that email id your entire dashboard will be shared so moving the graph option means when you click on this particular thing like this particular thing entire graph will be changed according to that particular thing see basically dashboard is an live one so whenever you click on something else remaining graphs will also get changed remaining graphs will also get changed if i click on to this thing so my graphs will automatically change so see you can see when i click on to this here my visualizations are getting changed right so in this way you can do moving this so you can 
or download this thing by clicking on to the share option when you click on to the share option so it will get loaded where uh, you can download this entire graph you uh, you will find uh, export option when you click on export option so you need to you will download this entire uh, visualization in the form of pdf so when i click on to export when i click on to export whatever the pdf whatever the visualization or dashboard which i created that will get exported in the form of pdf yeah we can change we can go to the properties click on to the graph go to the properties under properties you will have color under properties you have color so see here uh, save as pdf when i click on save as pdf my graph will get saved in our system so when you give some name and click on save button this dashboard will get saved in your local system so this is how what this is how you create a dashboard in ibm cognos so whatever the information you do that will be available in ibm cognos only so till here am i clear till here am i clear so dashboard is used to create insights from each and every graph can, we can create insights right from each and every graph we can create some insights right just by looking at the graph i can tell okay the sales are increasing the sales are decreasing or in this particular region the sales are high in this particular region the sales are low i can understand uh, such kind of information right so starting only i told one use case if i want to understand the information related to the company i can put them everything in the form of visualizations right so till here am i clear so if you have any queries please ask now if you have any queries please ask now sir can you tell me how to save so uh, go to the dashboard here you find a save option please click on to the save option once uh, click on the save option this dashboard will get saved so you will have a share button please click on to the share button when you click on to the share button so you will find export option you will find export just give me a minute you will find export option so click on export option then click on export a print page will get opened a print page will get opened in this way a print page will get opened in this way so in this way a print page will get opened you can directly click on save button and give the name and save in your local system this is how you create a dash uh, save a dashboard sir how to create data set like i didn't get you saurav what you are asking is there a necessity for uploading file to only be an excel file see uh, anything which is in the form of rows and columns that need to be uploaded because it will take as rows and columns the columns uh, and rows should be there in the data set please click on share button please click on share button you will get export option you will get export option so please click on export option please click on share then click on export then click on export so it will uh, automatically open a new window there you will find save so when you click on save it will get saved as pdf in your system so if you are having any queries please let me know if you have queries if you have any queries please let me know sir if i am wishing to do project using this tool what projects i can take up so please type projects on data analytics or the use cases related to data analytics in google you will find lot of use cases first try to understand how can you apply data analytics on to the problems problem 
then you can take any type of use case can we create data visualization without data set we cannot create any data visualization without data set if we have data only we can create visualizations right <coughs> what will happen if the data of the plotting bar chart is imbalanced nothing will happen see it will create a visualization whether the data is balanced or imbalanced doesn't mean doesn't make any sense in visualization if you are trying to build some predictive models at that time you need to focus on data is balanced or not how do you how to do project using data analytic the same way just now i have shown how to create a visualization that you can create visualization data dashboards or reports in a better way because of time constraint i am not able to explain in a better like uh, what we call in like better visualizations or something else so you can practice it more and you can create lot of visualizations 